I placed a huge order at Sephora recently and I want to show you all the high-end skincare products that I bought. Um, I did a bunch of research before um, buying all these, um, watching YouTubers, reading blogs, um, people rating them, even trying out other skincare products um, that I thought would be, that I thought would work but were less expensive but they didn't seem to work so I splurged and I bought a bunch of stuff at Sephora. Um, to hopefully resolve some of the issues that I think I have. Um, I wanted to do a makeup look today after presenting all of these products and describing each of them for you and what I hope they'll do for me um, because I wanted to like highlight or not highlight but show off kind of the problems that I think I have and kind of document that for my own records as well. So then in a couple weeks or months when I do another makeup tutorial or another look for you, um, or for myself, um, hopefully those issues will be resolved or minimized. Let's just get right into it. The first step in my routine, um, both morning and at night. So it's the Holy Frog Shasta AHA uh, Refining Acid Wash. Um, it's supposed to brighten and from what I read about AHAs is it's supposed to like strip this, like the top layer, um, hopefully gently for you depending on how, like the percentage in there. It's supposed to strip off the top layer and you know get rid of like scars and wrinkles and older uh, skin cells and bring out the newer ones, brighten as well. So I got this um, on recommendation from beauty guru or beauty influencer, whatever you want to call her, um, Ali Glines. A lot of this stuff is from her. I got Drunk Elephant. Um, all of these are Drunk Elephant. Um, skincare products except for the holy frog obviously um just because that is what i saw this uh, beauty influencer using and again did my own research on making sure this was right for my skin concerns c firma day serum uh, meant to firm and brighten because if you can see a trend here i'm trying to brighten because um although it's quite bright with these lights um i mean it as get rid of this redness and all these spots and this is like so embarrassing i hate showing off all my like flaws or issues but I kind of want to document myself like hopefully this stuff will go away and like all these spots and scars and stuff that I have from acne um hopefully that will smooth out and go away and then redness here redness here and also I notice it under makeup too um no matter how hard I try to get super um high coverage foundation um it still seems to come through the redness um I could pack it on but my skin for some reason will just get bumpy and cakey and gross so it's really hard to find the right balance but i got the proteiny polypeptide cream to strengthen and moisturize because what it said on sephora is like it targets certain things versus other moisturizers that do hydrate it does hydrate as well but this one is actually meant to um plump and smooth and um work on wrinkles and fine lines um i'm only 25 but you know i have like wrinkles under here that i'm really trying to get rid of because um mainly because of makeup because i want to be able to put my makeup on and not have it bunch up um i do uh, a bunch of different things to make sure um it doesn't crease and yet it does i'll bake or i won't bake i'll lightly powder and i won't powder all these things and no matter what it cakes inside the fine lines and doesn't always cover these dark circles that are always there so like I said in the beginning I want to um uh I want to fix the the problems the root of the problems rather than just buy a shit ton of makeup to try and cover it all and have it not even look that great either so the TLC from boost glycolic night serum to refine and retexturize so Again, it uses AHAs, 12% AHAs, 
and BHA blend and raspberry extract. This was recommended by that influencer that I talked about, Ali Glines, and a bunch of other people um, as well for texture, um, which I do have. So I have the texture um, that gets bumpy when I put makeup on. Um, it's not super smooth. It's not super like um, glass-like when I, even when I use the 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 glass primers or the, whatever it's meant to 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 do for you or the silicone primers and stuff. It, it's my skin is still texturized, which is annoying no matter what I do. Um, so again, I want to take care of that problem um, beforehand in my skincare and retexturize the um, the divots and the um, kind of pop marks and the texture that I have on my skin and things like that. I've been reading a lot to stay, uh, to go slow with retinol. So I got a mini because I'm only going to be using it in certain places. I think it will last me a while because I'm only going to use a little bit on these texturized spaces. I bought my first ever Jeffree Star product. I bought the gloss, it's called the gloss. And this one I think is Iridescent Unicorn. It's in super small writing. Actually, after reading it, it's called Iridescent Throne. Um, and it's super pretty. And it really reminds me of the bright um, purples I just bought in the ColourPop um, minis or the ColourPop shadows. So just to catch you up, I use the e.l.f. Poreless Putty. For some reason, had the foresight to buy another one um, right before the whole pandemic started. Um, I was just in Target, probably one of the last times was, I was in Target. Um, I remember being there with my mom and seeing all the Easter things and being like, it's way too early for Easter. We don't need it. We'll come back. And then, you know, the whole world went to shit. So, um, yeah, that was like back in March or something. And I just bought another because they're like $7 or less, probably like six bucks for um, a really good primer that's supposed to be a dupe for the Tatcha water cream. One of the problems that um, I hope the skincare will resolve or minimize is my pores. Um, the C Firma, the AHAs in everything, the, gly in the glycolic serum, um, the uh, AHA uh, face wash, etc. Um, everything, I'm hoping the pores will minimize and won't be as drastic or as huge as they are right now with makeup and without. Another reason I thought I'd stop and share um, what I'm using for foundation, A, it's because I'm not going to be using the Fenty like it says in the description um, box that I usually always use. Um, I'm going to be using the NARS Sheer Glow because I want to specifically see how a kind of a low to medium coverage foundation covers my redness now. Like I said, I'll do this whole the, these steps again and see how well the skincare took care of not only the pores but the redness that I'm trying to um, minimize and the texture I'm trying to get rid of so that's the reason I'm going to be using the NARS Sheer Glow. So I'm just going to go straight into the inner corner highlight with um, ColourPop um, Super Shock Shadow again. Um, I love these things. I have a bunch of these I can show you one day. Maybe do like a tour of my little mini makeup collection. Let me know in the comments down below if you want to see that. Um, that is an ice dream. 